there anything about your opponent that surprised you? I know you weren't in there very long, but did you kind of anticipate that kind of a fight with him? Uh, I, I anticipated like kind of a, I don't mean this like disrespectfully, but like a harder fight. Uh, but it just proves I've trained really hard for this and, and I, I deserve it. And, you know, I'm, I'm a top prospect in this division. When you say you expected a harder fight, can you kind of elaborate a little bit more about what you kind of expected there? I, I pictured a three-round war, to be honest, with Brian. Were you a little – this is going to sound like a weird question. I'm sure you're not disappointed that it didn't go three rounds, but is there any part of you that kind of wanted to see that, that three-round war <laughs> and – no? No, no, definitely not. Because you don't want to be in there with Brian uh, all three rounds because he has power all the way – you know, all the way through. So you don't want to be messing around there. So, uh, you know, I, I set my pace right away, and I just, he, he just couldn't keep up with me. And you mentioned uh, uh, potentially wanting to fight one of the winners of the, the other fights on this card. Is there somebody out of that group that you would prefer to, to fight over? You know, the it, it, it's a toss-up between all of them. I really don't know who's going to win. Um, so out of the winners, I, you know, since we just fought on the same night, I'm sure we'd be ready around the same time. Uh, at least uh, before the end of the year. So that's why I, uh, I asked for one of those guys. Do you have a preference on when you fight again or even a, maybe a venue now that they're going uh, back out on the road? I think either, either one of those guys, you know, either Paiva or I, I like Nurmagomedov just because of the last name. You know, I would like that win for sure. Sounds like your coach is saying two weeks he wants you back in there. Oh, Bulldog over there. Yeah, he wants me to take on a – Cody, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how I feel. And uh, that's, that's a fight that's pretty far up there, so we'll, we'll see what the UFC says. When you're thinking about uh, an upcoming fight, does the venue or the city play into that decision, especially now that they're going back out on the road and there's some pretty exciting places out there? Yeah, I think uh, fighting here uh, three times in a row. And then I went to the UFC Phoenix and just watching you know, those fights and seeing the crowd, it, it really did make me miss it. Uh, I didn't think I would as much, because fighting's fighting, you don't pay attention to it, but there is a certain energy to it, and uh, I do miss it. Thank you. Hey, Mario, uh, Battleborn, yeah. uh, where did that come from? Uh, I'm from Nevada originally, and that's the, the state motto. Uh, I'm seven hours north of here, a small town called Winnemucca, a small little mining town. So I always love to represent you know, where I'm from. That's awesome. That's awesome. And uh, finally for me, teammate Sean O'Malley's coming uh, fighting next week. I just want to know your thoughts on that matchup. Oh, I think he's going to smoke him. Oh. And uh, Jared Cannonier is going to win that belt too. Awesome. Thank you. I can't remember if you actually said when you first talked to her, what was the actual game plan that you had for Brian when you were coming in? What were you expecting that you were going to have to do? Uh, not to be lazy with anything. Like I said, he has power. Um, and if you let, get lazy, he could finish the fight you know, in any round. Uh, avoid the guillotine and, uh, you know, s set a high pace right away. Because uh, with anyone, you know, the first round might be close, but I feel if I go three rounds with anyone, two and three are for sure mine. Well, I have to ask you about that, that rear naked choke. I mean, how strong that actually is. Because once you locked it in, it looked like it was so tight that he was trying to tap on both your legs. I, it looked like that, that he tried tapping on one side, then maybe tapped on the other. I don't know if you could tell if he, if he did tap on both sides, but how strong is that rear naked choke of yours? Uh, I guess pretty, pretty strong. I, I felt pretty bad that uh, he was tapping, and that was Herb Dean's fault, you know. So you he, could feel him on both sides trying to I could see, like, underneath he was tapping my legs, and I was, like, looking up at Herb, and he didn't see it, and he tapped again. I was like, man, Herb Dean, you need to jump on this quick, brother. Yeah, because that's one of those things, you know, you don't want to let go because you want to make sure that the ref acknowledges it, but there was probably that side of you where you're like, man, I'm just doing damage for that doesn't yeah. need to happen. Yeah, like I said, I felt bad, but I'm going to hold on to it until the ref stops it. That's awesome. Well, I mean, obviously everything looked like it, it played out perfectly that you wanted to, but is there, when you have such a dominant fighter, there's still things that you see in that that you want to go back to the training right after, and is there anything that you feel like you needed to work on that didn't go your way? I mean, it looked pretty... See, uh, flawless, but, you know, there's yeah, there always something. There's always, like, little things, you know. I, I thought I did a pretty good job with the guillotine. You know, he's really good at that. Um, you know, he got me on the lips with uh, that front kick because I was staying still and I wasn't supposed to. So little things like that. It's always, you know, easy to go back and, and fix it up. But I'm going to continue to improve everywhere. So, um, yeah. 
And like you said, you know, this was one of the biggest fights that you've, that you've taken, you know, is it, is this good to put this feather in your cap? I mean, what does this fight, this win mean for you? And I guess in your career and where, how you've progressed as you're in your career. Yeah. I mean, it shows that I am progressing and it is the biggest fight, you know, of my career. I think he's had like 15 UFC fights and, uh, yeah, I mean, it just shows that I'm continuing to improve and climb up the ladder. That's awesome. Congrats on the victory. Thank you.